Rio de Janeiro, home to 6.3 million people. That number will explode when the city hosts both the World Cup and the Olympics in the next three years. Its infrastructure will be pushed to breaking point. So here, they're already tackling challenges that we're all going to face as our cities grow faster than ever. This is Rio's Command Operations Centre. An extraordinary control room for the city. You'd think that things like this might be hidden away in lots of cities, but actually nothing quite like this exists anywhere else in the world. Essentially, what they've done is give the city a brain. Anytime, anywhere, if something happens in central Rio, they'll know about it here. This mission control is radically changing the way the city can respond to any incident, however big or small. So this is an incident going on in the city now? Yes, a bus broke down. It's the red circle where the, the bus is? The red circle is the problem, and the bigger red circle is uh, the impact area. Today it's just a broken down bus, but it shows how comprehensive the system is. The overlaid satellite image immediately shows exactly what might be affected within the impact area, like schools or businesses. But crucially, it has live information about what resources are available nearby, as every one of them is tracked through GPS. We have two tow trucks near that place, and we have guards there too. We call the, the tow trucks, we call the guards, and our crew here, they work together to solve this as fast as possible. And you can see details even about, you know, who the guard is. We have his name. He works from 7 to 7, from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. <laughs> Do you know everything about him? We know his battery level, for example. Vamos ver o nível de bateria. 75%. So you can tell that he's probably OK to talk to you because his battery yeah. isn't about to go dead. We have his cell phone. We can call him. But the system isn't just about responding to what's happening today. They're also collecting data and analysing it. They're learning how their city works. We have discovered, for example, that every Friday, 5.30 p.m., we have most of the motorcycles accidents. So you can see patterns like that you always have a motorcycle accident at 5.30 on a Friday and start to try and work out why that is and then maybe prevent it. Prevent it, put a campaign, work with the information that we have. It's that ability to learn that gives this system so much potential. Rio can monitor itself to such a remarkable degree and it can adapt and predict. It has the potential more than any other city to respond to change. And as more and more of us choose to live in cities the world over and they become ever more complex, I think this has a universal application. <laughs>